Hi guys, welcome to this video series on accounting for IGCSE students. In today's lecture, we shall understand the meaning on use of debit and credit and how they affect various accounts. In one of the previous lectures, we understood the accounting equation and how business transactions affect the asset, liabilities and capital in a manner that both sides of the accounting equation are always equal. One could use this accounting equation to have a record of various business transactions, but there are certain limitations in using it. It is not a practical way of maintaining business records in case there are high number of transactions on a daily basis. It is very time consuming to have a record in such a manner because of the repetitive nature of the job. Hence, we can use the double entry system of bookkeeping that uses accounting equation as its base but provides a more practical and scientific way of recording transactions. Under the double entry system of bookkeeping, each transaction is recorded in a way that debit is always equal to credit. Debit and credit are nothing but two sides of an account. Before understanding debit and credit further in detail, let us see what is an account. An account is a record of transactions relating to a particular head at one place. A separate account is maintained for each asset liability, income, expense, capital and drawing so as to have an individual record of each aspect of the business. The account is divided into two sides. The left side is the debit side and the right side is the credit side. So the debit effect on an account in a transaction is recorded on the debit side of the account and in the same way the credit effect is recorded on the credit side of the account. So debit and credits are just two aspects of a transaction where the total of debit is always equal to the total of credit. For every business transaction, first the accounts involved are identified and then these accounts are debited or credited to record the transaction. In order to correctly identify the debits and credits in any transaction, let us try to understand the rules of debit and credit. These rules will help you decide which accounts to debit and credit for each transaction. Before beginning with the understanding of debit and credit, let us write down the accounting equation again. Since debit is always equal to credit, let us assign the debit to the left side of the equation and credit to the right side of the equation. In other words, assets of the business are primarily debit or by default debit, whereas the capital and the liabilities are primarily credit. So I can say that when in a transaction an asset increases, it will be debited. But when the asset decreases, it will be credited to reduce the earlier debit given. In the same way, when a liability increases in a transaction, it will be credited. And when a liability decreases, it will be debited to reduce the earlier credit. The same goes for capital. In a transaction that leads to owner's capital increasing, the capital will be credited. And if the capital decreases, it will be debited. These rules of debit and credit can be further extended and applied to incomes and expenses of the business. If you remember from the previous lecture, profit and capital have a direct or a positive relation. Profit is calculated as incomes less expenses. So we can say that incomes and capital have a direct relation, whereas expenses and capital have an indirect relation. So whatever applies for capital also applies for income. Hence, Incomes are also primarily credit. As the business earns income, the income account shall be credited. But the opposite applies to expenses. And hence, expenses are primarily debit. Whenever an expense is paid or incurred by the business, the expense account shall be debited. Along with capital, every business will also maintain a drawings account. Since drawings have an effect of reducing capital, they shall be given the opposite effect of capital. When the owner uses business resources for personal use, Drawings account will always be debited. So let's summarize these rules. Assets, expenses and drawings are primarily debit in bookkeeping, whereas liabilities, incomes and capital are primarily credit in bookkeeping. In the next video, we shall see some examples and understand how accounts are debited or credited in a transaction. If you think that the video is useful, please like the video and share it with others. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notifications when more videos will be uploaded. If you have any feedback regarding the video or you have any doubt regarding this topic, please comment below the video or you may WhatsApp me or email me on the details mentioned.